Hey there, future scientists. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of gametes and how they create life. Buckle up, because this journey is going to be quite the ride. All right, so every single cell in your body has 46 chromosomes. But where did they come from? To answer that, we need to think about how new human life begins. Every one of us started off as a single cell. This magical cell was formed when a sperm cell met an egg cell. These specialized cells are known as gametes. The sperm cell is the male gamete and the egg cell is the female gamete. Simple, right? Let's start with the sperm cell. Imagine a tiny, superactive swimmer with a tail. This little guy is always on the move, swimming vigorously to reach its destination. Sperm cells are incredibly small but powerful. Now, onto the egg cell. It's much bigger than a sperm cell, but still pretty small, about the size of a full stop. Unlike sperm cells, egg cells can't move on their own. They contain food reserves, making them the perfect partner for the sperm cell. Here's where it gets interesting. You might have noticed that sperm and egg cells each only have 23 chromosomes. But hang on, didn't we say human cells have 46 chromosomes? That's right. Gametes only have one set of chromosomes. So when a sperm cell joins with an egg cell, the new cell that's formed has two sets, totaling 46 chromosomes. This magical moment is called fertilization. The nucleus of the sperm cell and the egg cell join together to create a brand new cell called a zygote. This single cell will divide over and over again, eventually producing all the millions of cells in a human body. Pretty amazing, huh? Now, let's talk about something exciting, whether a baby will be a boy or a girl. Every cell in your body has one set of chromosomes from your mother and one set from your father. Among these chromosomes are two special ones called sex chromosomes. These determine if you're male or female. A person with two X chromosomes, XX, is female. A person with one X and one Y chromosome, XY, is male. All egg cells contain one X chromosome, but sperm cells can have either an X or a Y chromosome, so during fertilization it's a 50 50 chance. If an X-containing sperm cell joins with an egg, the zygote will have two X chromosomes and develop into a baby girl. If a Y-containing sperm cell joins with an egg, the zygote will have one X and one Y chromosome and become a baby boy. This is why the number of boys and girls born is roughly equal. Incredible, isn't it? Finally, let's talk about inheritance. This means passing on DNA from parents to offspring. A baby's sex is determined by the X or Y chromosomes inherited from the parents. But that's not all. We also inherit many other features from our parents. So there you have it, the incredible journey of gametes creating life. From a single cell to a complex human being, it all starts with the magical moment of fertilization. Thanks for joining me on this fascinating adventure. Until next time, stay curious.